now let us discuss about data manipulation language commands in short we can call it as dml so the major advantage of dml is it is useful in order to manipulate data in the database data in the tables we have three commands are there three dml commands are there the first one is insert command second one is update command third one is delete command but before performing all these operations first we have to create a table create table let name of the table is student so name of the table is student here and the table contains totally four fields the first column name is roll number roll number is of type integer so it accepts integer values 1 2 3 4 20 30 likewise and the second column name is name name is of type var char so var char means variable length character so the maximum size here is 30 the maximum size is 30 suppose if we enter only three characters such as ram then what will happen is only three characters memory will be allocated and the next one is as which is of type integer and the last one is max max is of type decimal decimal means we have to provide two values the first value specifies uh, the total number of uh, digits and the second value specifies after dot how many decimal points it can accept let uh, here the max is some 99.23 so maximum five digits okay so after the decimal point two digits here how many digits are there four digits are there so instead of that we can have like this 100 100.00 so totally five digits after the decimal point two digits so in this way first we have to create the table so if we execute this statement a structure will be created like this now we can perform the operations the first operation is insert command by using insert command we can insert data into the table we can do the insertion in two ways let us see the first method insert into table what is the name of the table student values here we use this command if we want to insert data in each column here we have how many columns are there four columns so if we want to insert data in each column we have to follow the first method so insert into student values first one is one so one is nothing but what one will be inserted here roll number and the second one is name ramesh so name means var char so it is a character so we have to enclose within the quotations so ramesh characters means enclose in quotations next third field is 20 so 20 is nothing but a yes. and the next one is max so 99.5 is the max so this is the first row let us see the second method we can use just the second method if we want to insert data in only few columns out of four columns let us assume that i want to insert only in three columns then we can use as the second method let's see the second method insert into student here we are inserting the data in three columns row number column that is the first column second column is name column third column is age column so now we have to provide values only for these for these th three columns so what is the last one max so now null will be stored in the max so values what is the first one row number is nothing but two name may means it is a var char so characters we have to enclose within the quotations so next one is yes means 19 so likewise we can perform the insertion in two ways so if we want to insert data in each and every column then we have to use as the first method if we want to insert data in only few columns then we have to insert the sec then we have to use as the second method now let us see the second command the second command is update command it is useful in order to update the existing data in the table based upon some condition uh, here we have two examples are there let us see the first example update table name what is the name of the table student set name is equal to ramesh babu so here uh, here in where what is the condition roll number is equal to 1 so if the roll number is 1 then we have to update the name as ramesh babu so based upon the roll number here we are modifying the name let us see the syntax one more time update table name set 
name is equal to Ramesh Babu. So we have to update name as Ramesh Babu if the rule number is 1. So here the rule number is 1. So now we have to update the name as Ramesh Babu. Okay. So this is the advantage of the update command. Now let us see one more example. Update student set mocks is equal to 70 where mocks is null. Null. Here if you see here name means it is where char characters. So that's why here we use quotations. But here what is the uh, 70 means integer value. So there is no need of any quotation. Here we have to use is operator when we are comparing based upon null. Here null is stored here. Here we have null here. So here what is the condition here? If the mox is null, so that means this column. If the mox is null, then we have to give mox as 70. Here the mox is null. So what we have to do? We have to update the mox as 70. So if we have null condition, if we want to check based upon the null condition, then we have to use the is operator. We can't write as yes, mox is equal to 70. Okay. We have to use is operator when comparison is made based upon null. So this is about update command. Now let us see the last command that is delete command. So delete command is useful in order to delete a row based upon a condition or we can delete multiple rows or we can delete uh, all the rows from the table. Let us see the first example. Delete from student where rule number is equal to 1. So if the rule number is 1 then we have to delete that row. So this is the row. So we have. So if we execute this command, then this row will get removed. Why? Because if the row number is one, then we have to delete that row. Okay. So if we have uh, uh, three records where the row number is one, then what will happen? All those three records will get removed. Let us see the last example. Delete from student. If you want to delete all the rows from the table, then we have to use this command. Let the student table contains ten records, ten rows. Let we want to delete all the 10 rows. Then we have to use what? Delete from student. Then all the 10 rows will get deleted. So this is about uh, DML commands such as insert, update and uh, uh, delete. Now let us execute all these commands practically in MySQL database server. Now let us see the practical implementation. Here we have two databases such as Sudhakar and SYS. So this is MySQL. So first we have to create the database. So create database. Let database name is college. Now let us execute uh, this command. And after that, uh, uh, refresh the databases here. So here we have a database called college. Now we have to create the table in the database. So database means a collection of tables use what is the name of the database Kales. so use Kales. first before performing the dml operation we need to create the tables so create 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 table let name of the table is sudhakar so it has uh, four argument four data types let the first column name is roll number it has four columns it is of type integer Second column name is name, which is of type varchar. Let the maximum size is sub 30. And the next column is age, which is of type integer. And the last column is mocks, which is of type decimal. So before performing any operation, so first we have to create a table like this. A table like this. So now we have to execute this command. So execute the command. Now, uh, uh, now let us refresh the database. So if you refresh the database, in college database we have tables. In tables we have student. If you want to see the structure, then we can click on the middle, middle icon. Then we will get the structure. So this is the structure. Roll number is of type integer. Name is of type varchar. Age is integer. Mox is some decimal value. Now we have to perform the three operations. So what is the first operation? The first operation is insert operation. Okay. Uh, our table is present in college database so we have to use uh, uh, use the, the database name insert into insert into we have two methods let us use the first method student values let us insert values in all the columns so one comma ramesh it is character 
So we have to enclose within the quotations. Next A's, let the A's is 21. Next mocks, let the mocks 90. Semicolon. Now let us execute this command. Execute this command. So here we have an error. Table college student doesn't exist. So what is the name of the table here? Here name of the table is Sudhakar. Name of the table is Sudhakar. So let us modify the table name. Sudhakar is the name of the table. So insert it to Sudhakar values. Now let us execute the command. So one row affected. So that means the table is executed perfectly. Let us refresh the database. Now in Sudhakar, Sudhakar, if you want to see the row information, then we have to click on this third icon. So that here, uh, one row is inserted, one Ramesh, 21, 90. Okay. Now let us insert one more row. Here uh, uh, in uh, MySQL, what we can do is, without using this into command also, we can perform the insertion. Insert Sudhakar values. Uh, let the rule number is 20. Let the name is uh, Mahesh. Mahesh. Let the age is uh, 18. Let the mocks uh, 17. So this is possible only in MySQL. Whereas in Oracle database, we must and uh, we must and should use into operator, into keyword. But here into is optional in MySQL. So let us execute this command. If we execute this command, we got output as one row affected. So that means one row is inserted into the database. Okay. Now, uh, uh, clear, refresh the database. If you want to see the structure, then we have to click on this third symbol. If you observe here, second row is uh, inserted here. 2 Mahesh 1870. So 2 Mahesh 1870 is inserted. Now let us use the second approach. That is insert into Sudhakar. If you want to insert information, only in few columns. I want to insert only in uh, uh, roll number, name and A's columns. Okay. A's columns. So values. So let the values are 3. Let the name is uh, uh, Naresh. Let the A's is 90. Let mocks are uh, 60. Okay. If you want to insert data only in few columns, then we have to specify those column names. Let us execute the command. So here we got an output as column count doesn't match. Why? Because here only three columns are specified. Rule number, name and yes. But here we have given four values. So we have to remove this fourth column. So 60, 19. Okay. Three is rule number. Naresh is name. Yes is 19. So let us execute this one. Here we got output as one row affected. Now let us refresh the database. And in order to watch the output, we have to click on the third one. So here, 3 in array 19. What is yes here? What is mox here? Null. Why? Because in mox column, we didn't enter any value. Okay. Now let us uh, uh, do the insertion in one more way. Here into is optional in MySQL. In this method also, into is optional. Let the rule number is 4. Let uh, name is uh, Suresh. Let name is Suresh. Uh, here, instead of yes, let us enter the mox. Let the mocks are, uh, let the mocks are some 79, okay. Instead of uh, A's, here uh, we have entered mocks. So now what will happen? A's will become null now. So let us execute the command. So one row affected. Here we have, uh, uh, we, we have got the output. Now let us refresh the database. Now let us watch the output by, click, by clicking on the third symbol. So here one more row is inserted. Four, Suresh. A's is null. Why? Because we didn't enter any A's here. Whereas Mox is 79. Okay. So with this we can conclude that insert operation is working properly. Now we have to perform update operation. Okay. Update operation. Update. Update. EMP. Set. Set. Name is equal to Ramesh Babu. Here the first person name is Ramesh. Let us modify as Ramesh Babu. Where. Where. Roll number is equal to 1. Why? Because the first roll number is 1. Okay. Now, if the roll number is 1, then the corresponding name will be modified to Ramesh Babu. Now, let us execute this statement. In MySQL, if we execute this statement, we got output as update employee. This is not employee table. This name of the table is Sudhakar. Sudhakar. Now, let us execute this command. Now, we got the output as you are using safe update mode. And you try to update the value. 
here the problem in mysql is if you want to perform update operation or delete operation then we have to use the save mode okay so for that purpose what we have to do is click on the file uh, click on the edit here we have preferences option click on the preferences option and then click on the sql editor so drag this one here we have save updates rejects update and delete operations okay if you want to perform update and delete operations also then we have to uncheck this one then only we can perform the update and reject operation now click on the ok button so now if you want to make those modifications then what we have to do is we have to close this button we have to close the mysql let us open mysql one more time mysql mysql and we need to uh, enter uh, password we need to enter the password now click on the ok button okay already command is written so that now let us execute the command so here we, we got the output yes one row affected one row affected let us clear the database now let us open the table so if you observe here the first row rule number is one so that name is modified to Ramesh Babu so that is the advantage of the update command now let us update based upon the mocks if the mocks is null then give the mocks as 70 for rule number 3 the mocks is null so update the mocks as 70 ok update the mocks as 70 for rule number 3 so update Sudhakar set here what we are doing we are updating mocks Sudhakar is nothing but name of the table Kali's is nothing but database so update the mocks to 70 so what is the condition here where where mox is null so if we have null condition uh, if we have null then for condition we have to use the is operator okay now let us uh, 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 execute the command so one row affected one row affected now let us refresh the database let us see the output now okay here for row number three actually the mox is null we have updated the mox as 70 so that is the advantage of the update command now let us perform the deletion operation if the rule number is 1 then de delete that row so here we have rule number 1 so uh, if the rule number is 1 then delete this row so this row will get deleted if we execute this command ok so now let us execute uh, uh, delete command so delete delete from what is the name of the table name of the table is Sudhakar where rule number is 1 so now if the rule number is 1 then the table will get deleted let us execute the command one row affected now let us refresh the database let us open the data so here we don't have rule number 1 rule number 1 row record ok here we have rule number 2 rule number 3 rule number 4 so rule number 1 record got deleted now now let us remove all the rows from the Sudhakar table so for that we have to use delete from student table so that all these th three rows will get uh, deleted so let us execute that command delete from Sudhakar there is no need to specify any condition if you execute this condition then what will happen three rows affected that means all the rows got deleted so let us open the table now the table doesn't contains any data but it contains some structure rule number name is marks like this we have some structure if you want to delete the entire structure also then we have to use the drop command so this is about DML commands, insert, delete and update.